Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make passion fruit juice, passion fruit simple syrup and delicious passion fruit curd with white chocolate that can be used for cakes, cupcakes, pavlova dessert, macarons and many more. We are lucky to have our own passion fruit vine and every year I'm actively making and freezing passion fruit juice which is insanely tasty and aromatic. Passion fruit is most ripe when it appears all wrinkly, so usually I'm picking up the fruits from the ground. The first step is to wash them well and cut them in half. We have yellow passion fruits and when they ripe they have an almost orange pulp inside. Another very popular type of passion fruits is purple passion fruit. They are a little bit sweeter than the yellow ones and most often sold in stores. The next step is using a spoon, scoop all the insides of the fruit into a food processor bowl or food blender. It's very easy to do and I would even say it's very relaxing. When all the pulp is separated from the shell, run the blender for about 30 seconds or so. The goal is to break up the pulp and seeds without chopping up the hard black seeds. Next, pour the seeded juice into a sieve and using a spatula or a spoon, press as much juice through as you can. Put the sieve full of seeds aside. Later, we'll use them to make a simple syrup that can be great for integration of sponge cakes. Now we have freshly squeezed passion fruit juice. You can pour it into Ziploc bags and freeze for a few months. But what I like to do is to weight the juice I just squeezed, every time it's a different amount depending on the amount of passion fruits I have that day. And I like to add sugar, about half of the amount of the juice. Then I like to bring the mixture to a boil and cook for about a minute or until all the sugar has dissolved. I let it cool for a few minutes and pour it into a clean jar. I keep the jar in the refrigerator for about a month or so. That way I can quickly prepare a pitcher of cold juice, a refreshing mojito cocktail, use it as a syrup for pancakes or waffles in the morning, or make a delicate and creamy passion fruit curd for my baking desserts. Back to the passion fruit seeds that we put aside. I like to pour them into a saucepan and add water and sugar in equal proportions. Today I added 100 grams of each. Next I bring the mixture to a boil, cook for a minute or so or until all the sugar has dissolved. Then I let it cool completely in the pan and pour through a sieve to discard the seeds once again. That's it! The simple syrup with light hint of tropical fruits is ready. Pour it in the jar and keep refrigerated up to two weeks. By the way, what is your favorite way to use passion fruit in desserts? Let me know in the comment area. And now, as promised, I'll show you how to make an unusually tasty passion fruit filling with white chocolate. To make the curd, we'll need egg yolks, sugar, passion fruit juice, white chocolate, heavy whipping cream, gelatin powder and water to bloom the gelatin. The exact amount of ingredients can be found below this video. Combine the gelatin with water and mix well. Let it sit for about 15 minutes. In a heavy bottom saucepan, combine the heavy cream and passion fruit juice. Mix it and warm the mixture up until the first bubbles appear. While that's going on, in a large mixing bowl, combine the egg yolks with sugar and whisk well until it reaches a smooth consistency. Then slowly add the hot heavy cream mixture while whisking constantly. Pour the mixture back into a saucepan and cook while constantly whisking over medium heat until it thickens.
Take the pan off the heat and add it the bloomed gelatin. Mix well until all the gelatin has dissolved. Next pour the egg mixture over the chocolate. Make sure that it's covering all the chocolate pieces. Let it sit for about a minute and mix until all the chocolate has melted. If it didn't melt, you can microwave the curd for about 15 seconds to help the chocolate melt. Cover the curd with plastic wrap, making sure that the plastic wrap is touching the whole surface. This is to prevent the curd from forming a skin on top. Let it cool to room temperature and refrigerate for a few hours. During that time, the mixture will set and harden. This passion fruit curd is great to fill cupcakes, cakes, or desserts like pastry puffs, macarons, or light and sweet pavlova dessert. As you can see, the passion fruit juice can be used in different ways to give a dessert or drink a tropical spin. I really hope that my video is useful to you and inspires you to use passion fruits in your desserts. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and click the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.